Using the Garmin Tactics and the Garmin Phoenix is kind of hazy when you know how it works. So basically, the first thing you need to know is that this button is the up button and this button is the down button. And then on the other side, you've got the selection button and you got the back button. So up, down, select, back. Those buttons can also do some other things, like if you press and hold the up button, you will reach the menu. And as you can see, now I can go down and up and select and go back. Actually, that was weird because that was the watch face. But if I go on, I don't know, maybe uh, music, now I can go back, select, back, down, up, and you see. From this page, uh, which is the main page because you've got the time and some data fields, uh, we can also go up and down to reach some widgets. So from here, by example, I've got the weather. And as you can see, I can select the weather to get more information. So it says that uh, today it's 27 degrees outside. We're going to have a high of 28 and a low of 20. Uh, little winds of 3 kilometers per hour from northwest and 50% uh, of rain. And if I go down, I'm going to reach some other information. So I'm going to have it hourly and I can even from here go to the next hours. If I go down again, I'm going to have the next days and finally the 12 hour trend. Now I can come back with the back button, as I said, and then we've got the solar intensity. If you have a solar watch, uh, this will show you uh, how much of a sun recharge your watch gets in the last six hours. Actually, I'm inside, so there's barely nothing. Then you've got the sunset and sunrise time. So uh, actually I can see that the sunset is in six hours and 27 minutes, that the sun have rise at 505 and will set at 2043. And if I select it, well, I can see it for today, tomorrow, oh no, sorry, I, I was going down. So that was a previous day, today, tomorrow, after tomorrow, and I can reach any uh, date of the year. So I can see that, whoops, I hold it too long. Uh, I can see that uh, on August 8th, the sun will rise at four at 5.42 and will set at 20.10. And that the twilight begin at 20.33 and end at 5.09. And as you can see here, that little orange is the golden hour. And every time when you are on a window like this, you can press and hold the menu button to reach some other options. So uh, you see here there is location. Uh, I can city search or uh, use the map to uh, look somewhere else. But if I want to go, I don't know, maybe in city search and go for uh, Oslo. So whoops, L Oslo and then Go up and select. So as you see, go up, down, select, and then uh, I'm gonna reach that uh, check mark, select, and then it will search for Oslo, and it will tell me today what will be the sunrise and sunset time. Oh, Oslo, Florida, Minnesota, or Norway. That's the one I want. So Oslo, yes, I'm gonna select it. And as you can see, the sunrise is at 3.57 and the sunset is at 22.43. And again, I can see it day by day. That's pretty much awesome. Uh, next option, that's the compass. So I can uh, select it to have uh, better information or uh, just see it like that and it's still working. And again, uh, in every uh, part you go, you can uh, navigate into it to uh, see more information 
or uh, get other option if you press and hold on the menu button. The menu button will always be the menu button of uh, the page you are in right now. Uh, what do we have else? Uh, 5K performance, I never really use uh, that type of information. Uh, training status, last activity. So if you want to monitor your last activity, see uh, what you have done, the time, the speed, uh, or uh, any other activity you have done. Uh, the number of, of steps you have done today. Uh, actually, I wasn't just wearing my watch, uh, but you got those kind of information. The health stat. Uh, actually, I can't see my heart rate because I doesn't wear uh, the watch to my wrist. Uh, you've got the pulse oxygen. Uh, this one you have to uh, wear it on your wrist and it will calculate uh, the oxygen in your blood. Um, uh, if you have a calendar uh, synced with uh, your phone, uh, this will show uh, the next event, but uh, actually I don't use a calendar. Uh, the number of notification you have on your phone, uh, you can control the music on your phone, that's kind of easy, you just have to uh, get a music app open and you can control it with your watch. Um, the altimeter, so uh, actually uh, the watch remain at the same place for the last hour, so that doesn't move. Uh, you can get your sleep data, but I didn't wear it last night. Uh, you got your respiration rate, your heart rate, your calories for the day, and what is that? I don't know what is that. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's intensity minute, or oh no, that's your uh, body battery. Uh, but yes, to got more precise information, you got to uh, wear your watch uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, it, when you are on this uh, very page, on the widget page, uh, you see if I go down, uh, I will turn, uh, I will go back to that uh, main page. But if I go on that widget page and I press and hold the menu button, you can reorder the widget. So, so if you want a particular widget uh, first, you can uh, reorder it. So let's say that that calories I, I wanted to be uh, the, the last one. Uh, this way, uh, when I am just right here and I go up, well, I will be on calories first. Now if I come back to that menu, I can uh, remove the widget. So uh, it actually remove the one you are on before you go on that. Uh, remove on that on that menu. So it, actually, if I want to remove the altimeter, I can press and hold the menu button and go on remove widget, and it will remove it. If I go down to add widget, there will be some other option I can show up. So uh, alternative time zone, barometer, body battery that I've just removed, calories, compass, floor climbs, uh, the Garmin coach, golf history. Intensity minute, last right, last run, last swim, uh, my day, sleep, stress, and temperature. So you can add and remove widget into that section. Uh, then if you want to uh, go in the menu and edit some stuff from the main page, you can press and hold the menu here and you've got full of option that we will see into other tutorials video that you can see on the upper right corner. And then if you want to start an activity, you can press the start stop button and navigate through uh, those activity that are just right here or into uh, navigate if you want to reach some point, you can show up the map, you can uh, start other activities or you can also add uh, an activities from that list. Uh, and then when you start an activity, so let's say I want to start to uh, bike, uh, you've got some option, you see there is 31 hours of GPS left, and you can start the activity by pressing the start stop button, and you are done, it's start. Um, what else we've got? Uh, there is that button that we didn't see since the beginning. If you simply press on it, there is a lot of light, I don't know if we're gonna see it, but 
Uh, no, we don't see it, but actually it did turn on the backlight. And if we press and hold it, uh, that's the, how do we call that? Controls. Uh, that's the control page. So you've got some options just right here. Uh, you've got the find my phone option. As you can see, if I put my phone just right here and I say find my phone, well, it did find my phone. Yes, thank you. Uh, oops, let's come back here. So you got to find my phone, you got timers, stopwatch, save location. So if you are an, uh, at an interesting position, you can save it. Uh, and you got the alt time zone. If you want to know what time it is in Oslo, New York, whatever, uh, you can add those one here. And again, if you press and hold the menu button, you can add, reorder, remove, controls and if we go into add uh, you can see that there is one to uh, lock and unlock keys do not disturb music control uh, sync all your activities um, phone to get uh, phone settings or not sure uh, wi-fi will be a wi-fi sync uh, this one i think is only available on the garmin uh, tactics not the phoenix uh, the time sync uh, to sync the time the altimeter, barometer, compass, wallet, if you have a compatible credit card, uh, the backlight, flashlight, alarm clock, broadcast, hearth rate, sunrise, sunset, night vision, stealth mode, assistance, battery saver, and airplane mode. Uh, you've got all these options. And yeah, I think it's pretty much, that's it. The most important things you have to remember is that this is the start stop or select button this is the back lap or uh, return button and this is the uh, up down or you can press and hold this one which will be the menu and it's pretty much that's it if you remember that uh, you can navigate everywhere into your watch and discover by it by yourself all your watch can do so enjoy so this is it thank you for watching i hope it helps if yes please smash the like button if you are planning to buy this watch you can see my link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help if you want to see my other tutorial about this watch you can see my playlist just right here and you can also find me on my main channel just right there thank you for watching take care <laughs> see ya